so now in this video now we'll try to uh, create that connection with sql server as we discussed in previous part we have created that basic setup now we'll try to create that connection with sql server and we'll try to see that how it's working okay so here we're going to create uh, some folder structure we'll follow and then we will create that one dot environment uh, file we'll create then we'll create one config folder and inside that we'll try to create db.json where we'll try to use that all values there okay that connection string then we'll do that so now let's move to first sql server okay and i will try to create database and uh, i will give that name api api project okay and then i will execute this one so now database created successfully and i will just show you one more thing here disconnect this one so while connecting this one i will pass that server name login details id and password okay and database name i will pass this one so it just uh, be remember you can pass your own things while connecting okay so now this is our uh, things are there so now first i will go and try to create dot env okay so now in this what all we need to pass i will pass that port number i will pass it as three double zero three eight or three double zero three sorry three double zero eight i will pass it okay and db underscore user okay i will pass my db name whatever your login details are there you can just try to use that db underscore plus w o r d password test i'm passing this one you can correct it with based on that your things and then db underscore server server Oh, sorry, server MSI. Okay, and DB underscore DLT PC database. Access to API P. Okay, so these are the details. I passed it here. So now I will close this. And now I will create one folder that called S. Sorry, SRC okay and inside i will first create one more file that server.js and then we'll go later and server.js okay i will write down that later now inside this i need to create one folder that called config okay and inside this config we will create one more file that is called db.js okay and now in db.js we going to put all our required details okay so now first thing we need uh first i will declare one variable const sql equals to require okay ms sql we need ms sql okay so for this one we need and then we can do that mm. require dot env dot env dot e sorry require dot env okay dot config okay done okay so these two things i required it here so now you might need to uh first install this one and pmi ms sql ms sql okay I, this one you need to run meanwhile i will write down all this other code okay then go to const okay config so you can see 
now while it, this one installing we get that node moon it's installing all this required package and all that. so this one is done same way now you need npm i dot env dot env also you need so these two things you need now meanwhile i will write down so we need here user okay now process dot env dot db underscore user okay and uh, then we need to create here we need to pass all this required value what all we need now user i created so dot env also install okay fine and then password password um, again i will put that process dot process dot env dot db password okay then we need server process dot env set just a minute now process dot env dot db underscore server okay then we need database database process dot env db underscore yes database okay and then we need some optional things are there so we go with that pti o and s options ah, sorry options where it's went now okay so in this one we'll try that encrypted en cr encr why it encrypt to true okay and second one is trust trust okay so this one is done this is also done so now then now i use that all this value i'm reading it out here from that config file okay so you can write down as well if you need comment to be put now i will go and create that one more full promise ah uh, sorry e o m i s we promise equals to new now i'm what i'm doing and just checking that is that connection is happened or not so no connection pull and I'm, i will pass that config okay then i will do dot connect okay and then dot and then we'll try and then i'll again we'll do that catch also then and inside that speed pull okay pull and then we'll try in this way now what i need console dot log will now print that connected so connected to sql server okay and then we'll return it out return pull okay and then now then done now if any error will be there then we'll put that catch inside catch now what will do that error okay and in this one we'll put console dot error okay and then we'll display now the database 
कनेक्शन फील्ड देन विल टाइप एरर ओके एंड नाउ विल एग्जिट दैट प्रोसेस डॉट एग्जिट प्रोसेस डॉट एग्जिट सो नाउ what we are trying to do here now we connecting and then we are checking it's connected or not if it's connected then we are displaying connected to sql server if connect any error we are getting we are just displaying database connection failed okay and then at the end what i will do i will do module dot exports okay equals to full promise okay this name i need to correct r is capital 1 i need p r o to correct now p r okay and meanwhile since i am doing uh, express here so we need to do an p m x p r e w s express also need to install okay so now this one is done we will go back to server dot js okay and now what else we need to do now so in server dot js first thing we need to require that now so i will do that const okay dot env equals to require dot env okay on okay and then i need no cost app equals to express now here i am using or i will use that express okay express also we need so now i put e x p r e w s express equals to require express okay then we need that our db um uh, set we need our const db equals to require Okay. Dot slash config slash what is that? DB dot JS. And this one to just display that our DB is connected or not. So these things I need here. And now one thing I can do. I will just now creating const app equals to express. I am just creating is object of express. And now. so this thing we did now i will just call dot env dot config okay so this config we have created here so that will display us this all this value is connected or not so this is done now i will create that one more variable const port equals to process dot env dot port okay so we'll get that port and then i will do app dot listen okay and then i will do port okay port console dot log then i will put server is running on port so we can pass that now port variable okay so this is done and now this one also need to close now done okay so now i will come to package dot json and here now what i will do that changes since our 
start point is server.js and here I will put that there is one more port that called start this is default keyword okay so in this one now the node moon src slash server dot js okay so now i will save this so what i'm trying node moon i have installed globally if you don't install then you can install it global so that no need to install in every project and uh these things are used just to run this uh if i put that I start uh, npm start then it will run that this one server and node moon why i'm using because no need to every time run it okay so now you can see dot net express mysql all are got installed here so now let me move to this one and i need to put npm stat start okay let's see so now node moon is not recognized internal external command so for right now i will put that npm and i will install it later so let me see npm start so now what we get uh, we got npm a start unknown command src server dot npm run i need i think so node moon i will put that error missing escape dot chase server dot src server dot just wait one minute i will put that node moon only i will install it that will be better not the um and node moon okay and i will install npm i my phone dev node moon okay so it will included now let me show that now npm start okay so which one is now app dot listen port is missing okay it's said to be in capital letter so where is that server dot js okay so let me come to here okay so here what i did now so so can correct this one this need to be in capital p o r t port this variable is there so let me save this now okay so now you can see now server is running on port it's throwing some issue it's not taking care connected to sql server is coming but here it's throwing it's unable to take that p o r t correct environment dot port server is running on port slash why why this okay this need to be tilt variable so that it will take care of this okay so now see if every time i am running now you can see so issue was there since i was using variable and i used that single quotation so now mm, corrected with this one tilt symbol so now you can see uh connected to sql server okay and i'm getting i'm running on port number whatever port i have provided okay so suppose if you go and change it here to test one and save this one okay and now i will come back and in server.js and i will just try to save it okay now you can see now we are getting login field with user test one okay so because this is and this that's why i'm using that node moon and while installing i put that dev version not for uh production needed so now i will go back and again i will correct this one and save this and if i need to come to js file any of that js file if you will save it will be automatically started running so in this way i hope you able to connect with your uh, sql server and you able to run these things if you have any issues please let me know Thank you.